Hi everyone. I like to call these our silent letter digraphs. Um, the gray letters that you see, we don't actually hear when we say um, that sound, um, but you will see it in a lot of uh, reading and writing, so it's important to know. What you'll need to do is you'll need to grab uh, some digraphs, just like I've done. I've made the silent letter a different color. You don't have to, but it definitely helps. I also have my short vowel sounds in blue, as you've seen in some of my other videos. And I've chosen to work with these white letters. Those are my consonants. Um, lots more consonants that you can choose from. Those are just the ones that I'm working with today. First thing you need to do is you need to choose a vowel sound. And you'll need to choose an ending sound. I'm just going to flip these for you because these two right here, the TCH and the CK, you'll find at the end of words and the WR, the KN and the GN, you'll find at the beginning of words. So that's just a good little reminder to know. So since we're only gonna be working on those three for my beginning spot, I'm gonna choose this one. My W is silent, so I'm going to say my R sound. R -a -f, R -a -f. Let's try blending it. Raff. The word is raff. I can grab a different beginning. Again, my K is silent, so it's naff. Naff. The word is naff. And try with this one. My G is silent, so it's naff. Naff. The word is naff. I'm going to put those beginning ones back down. Again, I can substitute my short vowel sound, my consonant. I could switch it up. I could grab my i and my m and do the same thing for the beginning. R -i -m, rim. The word is rim. The WR is in the word write. Um, I am going to write a letter. The KN is like in the word no. I know you didn't make your bed today. And the GN is like in the word gnat. I saw a gnat flying around the house. So I can practice one more time with the beginning sound, and then I'll show you what to do with the ending digraph. Nim, nim. The word is nim. So I will leave my vowel sound there. What I'm going to do now is move my digraph to the end, and I'm going to graph. A beginning sound. You'll notice on this digraph the T is silent, so I'm only going to say the CH sound, which says ch. So let's read it together. F it ch. Fitch. The word is fitch. I can grab my other ending digraph. F it. The word is thick. You can practice just by experimenting with your vowel sound, with your consonant sound. The CK, you may have seen like in the word sick. I am sick today. And the TCH, you may have seen in the word fetch. Go fetch me some water. 
And that's it today.